We all have childhood memories, but some are darker than others. Ever heard a haunting melody in the dead of the night? Or felt something under the bed in the comfort of your home? These are just the two of the horrifying Reddit stories we're about to unravel. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm bringing you some unsettling childhood encounters. Have you ever experienced something like this? If yes, let's talk about it in the comments and I'll add it to my upcoming videos. My grandpa kept looking at his rear view mirror. I asked him what's wrong and he replied nothing. When I was 10, me and my grandpa were driving to a ranch in Mexico. It was 3.40 in the morning and we were driving on supposedly haunted road. My grandpa had a blue Ford pickup truck. Anyways, my grandpa and I were just making conversation. He then said, the road is haunted. A lady stands on the side of the road asking for rides. So I got scared and started looking out the window. 40 minutes pass, the sun is still down. My grandpa keeps looking at his rear view mirror. I asked him, what's wrong? And he replied, nothing. I then look at the mirror and my heart drops and I'm just paralyzed in fear. I see a woman in a white dress with pitch black eyes in the back of our truck. My grandpa looks at the mirror once again and I'm guessing he sees it as well and he just slams on the brakes. We both just look at each other. We look at the mirrors and she was gone. Me and my grandpa addressed what happened and confirmed that we both saw her. We got out of the truck and we were moments away from falling into a deep ditch off the road. If my grandpa hadn't slammed on the brakes, we could have been dead ever since. And we never knew that road, scariest moment in my life. From a terrifying encounter on a haunted road to a chilling experience in a child's bedroom. It seems that the paranormal can manifest in the most unexpected places. Let's get deeper into these unsettling experiences and explore the haunting world of childhood encounters with the unknown. I woke up to something scratching my foot. This was one of my first paranormal experiences. I was about eight or nine. It was a summer night and I was in my room sleeping. Because it was so hot, I didn't need any blankets to cover myself up. In the middle of the night, I must have slipped my leg off the bed. I woke up to something scratching my foot. I don't have any pets in my house. I looked down and saw hands under the bed. They looked really old and had really long nails, like witches' hands. I started moving, blinking and stuff just to convince myself that the stuff that I was seeing is not real. It was. I ran off and told my parents about it, but they were acting like any other parents, saying that it was just a nightmare. However, the next day I woke up, looked at my foot, and saw a scratch. My bed is also like fully covered in this material and doesn't have any sharp edges or anything that I could have scratched myself on. Later in my life, I've discovered that in my religion, there are things called jinns. There are good ones and bad ones. They can try to shape into humans, but every time they try, they fail. Basically, it was a jinn that night that have scratched me. Since then, I don't sleep without being covered in blanked at night. From demonic encounters to ghostly melodies, these chilling stories sent shivers down my spine. While the first experience was a terrifying solo encounter, the second one took place amidst the warmth a family, a stark contrast that makes the horror even more unsettling. One night, my cousins and I heard a dead woman singing. I was around 12 when I went on vacation to my grandparents' house. My cousins and family lived in the same block, so we would stay until late in the night, playing tips and telling scary stories. There was this one house on the block which was gray and rotting. Dusty windows, everything was chained up and charred. The people there said there was an old woman with a really bad temper, but she had a really good voice. She had died in the house. It had caught fire. One night, me and my cousins and all the oldies sat down around the fire as if it were a weekend, gazing at the stars and telling jokes. 
when we heard singing. We vibed to it a bit until we realized there was no radio or anything on. One of my grandparents recognized the song, saying it was the song that the woman sang. Chills went down my spine. The wind picked up and blew the fire out. The children ran inside as the parents investigated the site. Ten years later, I'm still scarred of visiting my parents' house. The parents found nothing. I've asked the people around, saying that they have heard similar things. The chilling song from the long gone woman haunting her old, burnt house left me shaken. But strange voices aren't confined to old houses. Even a familiar basement can hide mysteries. I recorded what lives inside of my cellar. At the time, I was I think 7, maybe 8, and I was hanging out with my BSF. In my house, we had the most awesome basement where we would always hang out. One time, me and my BSF were home alone when we were hanging out. We opened the basement door and walked down the stairs to the basement. In the past, we always said we could hear weird noises from the cellar under the basement stairs. It always scared us, but we never thought anything of it. Anyway, we were just playing in the basement home alone when we heard the noise again. It sounded like a man's voice or something. We were so freaked out, especially since we were home alone. We eventually got up enough courage to open the cellar door and see if anything was there. Nothing was there, so we wiped it off and continued playing. Soon after, we heard it again. Now we were really scared. I told my BSF I would get out my iPad and record, see if anything was there, you know. So I grabbed my iPad, opened the cellar door, turned on the cellar light, propped up my iPad, and closed the cellar door. We were so scared, we ran upstairs. We left the video recording for about six minutes. We were scared, but we came back down and opened the cellar door and turned off the video. Scared out of our minds, my BSF and I sat down and watched the video. The video looked normal for about 15 seconds until you could hear us walking up the stairs, exiting the basement, when the video just went black, completely black. The rest of the video was black all the way until you could hear us walking back down the basement stairs where the video went back to normal. It wasn't like the light went out, but something covered the camera. It was especially weird because Nothing was in the way of the iPad. I'm still weirded out to this day. Just when you thought a mysterious, silent video could be the scariest thing to happen in the basement, we enter another realm of terror. What happens when you're a child, hearing your name called by unseen entities in the dead of the night? Let's find out. I remember hearing my name yelled by my parents over and over again. It took me a while to realize it wasn't real. This happened to me when I was eight or something. We moved into a new house and my little sister and I were allowed to sleep in our rooms on a mattress. I already gained some weird feelings in my room when I was alone. Just a reminder, my little sister's room was next to mine. For most, as I can remember, we stayed up late and then went to be bed at like, I don't know, 22, 10 o'clock at night. It took me a while to fall asleep. I couldn't see much because of the dark and because I don't sleep with glasses on. I remember hearing my name yelled by my parents over and over again. It took me a while to notice it wasn't real. The moment I began to feel sleepy, I saw something staring at me. Meanwhile, younger me would just stare at it till I know it's real. Well, let's just say more of them came. I do suffer sometimes from sleep paralysis. I couldn't move. I was just laying there on my back. Those creatures kept staring at me. Mostly, I just try to close my eyes and forget it all. The next morning, I heard from my parents that I kept saying, Go away. Mother, why are you calling me? Hello? Mostly something like that. I do talk in my sleep or move those things. It was probably another paralysis or something. I also once saw Freddy Frazbear just watching over me. That's it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. 
Let me know in the comments if you have encountered something like this in your childhood. I'll be back with more such stories soon. Until then, please give this video a like and hit subscribe so you don't miss out on what's coming next.